everyone, this is Halloween Hunter here, and welcome back to another Halloween video. And in this Halloween video, we're going to be unboxing the Morris Costumes 2022 Tumbling Clown Doll. Now, this guy I did in fact buy from Walmart.com for only $35. Yes, that sounds pretty fake and like not real, but this guy was on Walmart.com. A third party buyer was selling on Walmart.com. I think they meant to take off $30, but they accidentally made it like 30 bucks. And I bought this like two months ago and like it got canceled. So I just, so I kind of just assumed it was a, it was a mistake. And now two months later, I reorder it and uh, it actually works. So, so enough talking. Let's go ahead and finally unbox this thing. Alrighty. So here is the inside of the box. It is uh, got all that. So let's go ahead now and take all the parts out and show you guys what we have. We have the clown himself right here. His arms go up and down like this and his legs are a little bit posable. I did forget to show one thing in the video you get part E, which has some nuts and a socket wrench to screw in the arms. Just wanted to throw it in there real quick. We have next is the step pad. Worst costume props do come with step pads, so this is kind of expected, but there it is. We have the adapter right here. And it does, oh, I forgot, I forgot about this. It does have other universal plugs, so like if you're from a different country, that doesn't have like this sort of plug, you can use different sort of plugs in your area. In Canada, so. We have the instructions right here. You get a pole. You get another pole. And, but it just cracked me in the head. Uh, you also do get, in fact, a control box with the pole that hangs with the clown. You also get this pole right here, of course, to kind of lock it down. But there's a better look at that. And of course, the last part is the base, which is pretty big. So that is really it for the parts of the Tumbling Clown. Now let's go ahead and start the setup. So first you want to get the base and connect the B poles to the snap lock pins. And you basically just push the pin down and lock them into place. Then you want to bring these supports and lock them into the sides right here. Might be a little tricky at first, but they do eventually kind of plop into place. Oops. This side now. Then you're gonna want to take the pole that the clown hangs off of with the control box and the other side pole and connect it onto here with the snap lock pins. So again, same kind of process. You're gonna want to take the adapter, of course, and connect it to the control box. And then you're going to take the clown himself and loop it through the two holes on the top of the pole. Then you're going to take those nuts and place them above the socket that the arms are sticking out of through the pole. And screw them in. And do it for both sides. Then you're gonna take the plastic hands and loop them through these arms and bolt so that they can cover it. And it's just like that. And of course, adjust your clothing. And the same goes with this side. And 
do want to use a step pad, of course, there is a step pad jack right here, and then there is a sensor, an off slash trainee, and an on mode. The on is just constant. I'm not going to be doing the step pad, however, that is an option there. For this video, I am doing the sensor, so I'm going to hit the switch to the left side so that when I turn it on, it's just going to activate my sensor. And with that being said, that pretty much concludes the setup for the tumbling fan overall pretty easy. Alrighty, so here is a review portion for the Morris Costumes Tumbling Clown doll. And honestly, this guy is pretty neat. I like him a lot. So if you don't know, I actually collect a lot of the SVI clown ride props. I have the Haunted Ferris Wheel, the Rocking Elephant Clown, the Clown Go Round, and the Seesaw Clowns. So this guy came out last year and I actually was going to buy him, but I never did. So this year, I was committed to go ahead and finally buy him. And luckily, Walmart.com was selling him but for a very weird mistake so this guy originally was like 200 dollars on the listing i think they were trying to mark it down 30 dollars but they accidentally made it like 30 dollars for purchase so i only paid like 30 bucks for this guy which was an amazing deal because this guy is one i really really wanted and i know a lot of people are buying this guy to resell or to customize with but for me i just wanted this guy because i have all those other clown rides and i wanted to complete the collection with all those ones so far. I might do a video in the future showing all of them together. This one is pretty small too. Next to Young Crouch, it's only about three feet when it's in the resting position. But then when it goes up, it's about over four feet. So honestly, it's a pretty good size for what you get. I really do like this guy's look a lot. He's got kind of like a brownish red overall color scheme for the base and the poles to give it a new color. The clown doll himself is just like all the other clown rides, a very simplistic clown doll look with some really creepy makeup and cracks in the face, a little top hat, some cool hand molds, and even some nice red shoes right here, a red and gray striped color scheme, some ref puff balls, a little collar right here, and overall, this is a really good look for this guy. Very awesome. I also like how this guy has new audio. This guy does not really use the same audio as the other clown rides. He actually has his own unique audio, which honestly is really cool because now if you want to, you can have that other audio track mixed with this one which actually could be kind of cool in a haunt so then this guy overall is like pretty good and the animation is really nice it's like a smaller version of the haunted ferris wheel it's got a mechanism right here that kind of twists this pole around and it works really well this guy's this guy's honestly built pretty fine i don't see it breaking that much so i think this guy is gonna be okay quality if you buy him here's a better look of the control box we get the sensor right here the the functions right here the step pad jack the adapter jack, volume control, the sensor, try me slash off, and the on slash constant mode right there. That's all I have to say for this prop. I have some minor complaints, but the one main complaint is that this guy's price is really high for retail. This guy goes for $200 or over, which is not really worth the prop's price. This guy is really only worth about 130 or under because this guy is a pretty good size, but he's not doing anything impressive for the price tag. It's unfortunate because Morris Costumes does sell this guy for 120 or 130 at the show or wholesale price but if you buy it from a retail company it's probably going to be pretty expensive like 200 dollars or over so personally with that being said i only recommend this guy if you can get him for the wholesale or show price the show price being like at transworld or the Halloween party expo if you go to those and i would not recommend him if you're going to be buying him for 200 dollars or over because he's not really worth it at all
However, he is really nice and he's pretty good quality. He's even got some side stands to really help him be supported pretty well. And the welding seems pretty much okay for him. I think he'd survive not super strong winds, but fine winds. I think he'd be okay in that, especially for his size and these good supports. He seems pretty sturdy. So, so overall, that's probably it, guys, for this unboxing, setup, demo, and review on the Morris Costumes Tumbling Clown doll. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next Halloween video.